Herbs are also the basis of Tibetan medical treatment. Since the Chinese annexed Tibet, this country's more than 1,000-year-old medical knowledge is being transmitted primarily in India. In the Dauladar Mountains lies Maklia Ganj, the seat of the government of Tibet in exile. After fleeing from the Chinese, the Dalai Lama settled in Maklia Ganj, and with him 11,000 people, most of them Tibetans in exile. no other place in the world, Maklia Ganj is a refuge for Tibetan culture. For this reason, primarily young Tibetans are drawn to the residence of the Dalai Lama. Tenzin Soma and her friends have come to Maklia Ganj from afar to study Tibetan medicine. They will be staying for six years. Tenzin Somo is 23 years old and in her fourth year of studies. One hundred twenty-five young women and men are studying at the Minsei Kang Institute of Tibetan Medicine. Founded in the 8th century, it combines elements of Indian Ayurvedic, Chinese and Persian medicine. One of the key subjects is herbalism. Exams are approaching. Attached to Minsei Kang is a clinic. The institute also produces its own medicines. At the end of their studies, up-and-coming doctors like Tenzin Somo must know 175 Tibetan medicines, some with up to 32 ingredients. They must know how all these are made and from which substances. Although a small number of medicines also contain minerals, Tibetan healing is based, like Ayurveda, on herbs. Their training regularly takes the students high into the mountains. 1,500 meters must be climbed. At the tree line, we find the greatest diversity of medicinal herbs. The students learn at what time of year the active agents of each individual plant reach their peak. Generally speaking, roots are usually harvested in autumn, leaves and flowers in summer. By the end of their studies, the students must be able to identify more than 200 medicinal herbs in nature and know their effects.
When they pluck herbs, the students recite the mantra of the medicine Buddha, requesting him to permanently heal the afflicted of this world. The students were given four hours to look at the herbs in their natural environment. This is followed by an on-the-spot examination. Tensi will soon be working as a doctor. The rural population especially needs affordable, compatible medicine. A medicine based on herbs. These students will only be able to treat future patients if India can manage to preserve its great variety of herbs in nature.